Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa. I'm a fourth year medical student and I slept less than three hours prior to taking the NVME Step 2 CK exam. And I ended up scoring better than I scored on any of my practice exams, any of the NVMEs, any of the world self-assessments. And I just wanted to put this video out there in case any of you run across this in the future. I know it isn't necessarily the time of the year that people are taking Step 2, but I think it's important that people realize, myself included, that you can be okay um, not sleeping at least very much the night before an exam. I think part of the reason why this is okay is because you're just so stressed that it's going to keep you awake and alert. And I think that was the case for me. I had a pretty crappy morning prior to going to the exam. I slept less than three hours. I spent most of the night going between trying to sleep and then like jolting myself out of bed because I was so anxious and then crying because this exam has become such an important exam and just kind of like going through these cycles again and again and again. Finally, I was just so tired of crying that I, I think I just fell asleep and um, that was that was that and then I drove to the testing center and I ended up parking in the wrong parking lot and there was a whole bunch of construction. I, I got lost. I couldn't figure out where the testing center was. I had to like climb over and through a construction site and I had to have a construction worker help me actually get to the testing center. Once I was there, I was a little bit late considering the time that they wanted you to show up. And then the entire first section of the exam, there was some person that was just like coughing and clearing their throat and it was very distracting. But all that said, I still scored really well and did really well. And I think part of that is just due to adrenaline and the body's innate stress response. I think that that could make up a lot for one night of missing sleep. I don't have any scientific data and the internet is full of reasons why you should sleep and you should sleep and it's important to sleep. But at the same time, this exam has blown up to become a very important thing in the medical school journey, right? It, now that step one and level one are both pass fail, the emphasis is being placed on other things and step two is just one of those things. And it's tough because this is the one time. And I think I, think I just got so up in my head about this being the one test now um, and the one score anyway. And I just wanted to put this out there if any of you experience a similar thing. I think that you will be okay and just go with it. I know that I almost canceled my test and tried to reschedule because I was so like, I, I was so distraught about not being able to sleep and I thought I just wasn't going to be able to function and I thought I wasn't going to possibly be able to do as well as I had, had worked for. And that's just the thing. I had put so much effort into this for so long that I thought that I had just ruined it all with one night of bad sleep. But I quickly realized once I was in the test that I was well prepared and even though I wasn't necessarily well rested, I was very alert because of my stress levels and I I had coffee and I had all of my meals on check because I planned all of those out and made sure I had really healthy things to eat and um, like hydration and, and everything. I, I, I had everything else kind of planned out well that I think it could sort of make up for the lack of sleep. And I just wanted to, yeah, put it, put it into the world that it's okay if you don't sleep very much the night before your exam, you can still do well and everything will be okay. If you want to reschedule, you always can. In the end, you should always do what's best for you. But I just wanted to share my experience that I don't really think it matters all that much. You're gonna be stressed anyway. And part of my hesitation in making this video is that I don't want it to like lower your stress because I, th I think you should be stressed for an exam. I think stress can be very important in helping a person focus and um, have the energy and to get through it. Um, something as long as, as a test like step two. So I, I want this to calm your nerves, but I also don't want you to be too relaxed. So yeah, anyway, good luck. Um, it was a really, really difficult time and I don't want to, I don't want to like, I don't know, didn't diminish that in any way, but you've got this, you're going to do great. And 
keep doing what you're doing. Don't worry about one night of sleep. You know what? You could stay up all night if you want. You'll do just fine. You'll do just fine. You'll be fine. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.